Hello, STN, and welcome to the Crazy Eights edition of DP News from Anaheim, California. I'm Noel Montgomery. And I'm Lindsay Fisher. And today we're standing in front of the Disneyland Resort. Millions of tourists come to this attraction each year. However, there is much more to the city than just the self-proclaimed happiest place on Earth. That's right, Nolan, and in this special episode of DP News, we will be exploring the things that make this city unique. It's March 28th, 2017. It's DP News. And it starts now. now. While the world is all eyes on what is happening in the White House in Washington, D.C., Anaheim is home to a lesser-known White House run by Bruto Serrato, a local philanthropist. Here is Sky with more. The Anaheim White House is a local restaurant and landmark that burned down on February 7, 2017. The restaurant was a magical place that provided visitors with a beautiful and elegant environment with amazing food. It was home to many weddings and special events, but the true magic is in the person that founded it. Bruno Serrato is an Anaheim philanthropist who realized that there are many families that need support in the community. He has used the White House and his nonprofit Katarina's Club to feed over 2,000 needy children every day in the Anaheim area. In just weeks, friends and supporters have come together to show how much the White House means to the community. Victor Savadra is a longtime employee of Serrato. History, um, her, his mom visiting the Boy and Girls Scouts and the Motel Kids, and she saw them, they only have like a bag of Cheetos and go to bed. And she told him, you can help the kids doing pasta for them. He invited the kids for a dinner in here, like for Thanksgiving or, well, before because Thanksgiving is so busy. And uh, they come and we have uh, too many volunteers around the the, county. the GoFundMe campaign has raised over $189,000 in just a few weeks, a testament to the love for Serato and what he does for Anaheim every day. This is Sky Speak for DP News at STN, reporting from a White House that cares. It's always nice to see a place that wants to help those less fortunate. Every day, Anaheim offers a new selection of brilliant shows to watch. These shows are cunning, funny, dramatic, and extraordinary. What makes these shows so exceptional are not only the brilliant actors on stage, but the crew members behind the scenes. Tourists often come to Anaheim to see many interesting things like performances, concerts, sports, and just to have fun. What the guests don't see, however, are the men and women working tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure that everything runs well. These folks are part of IOTSI, or the International Alliance of Theatrical Sa Stage Employees. Members of IOTSI may have roles such as stagehands, lighting and sound technicians, wardrobe personnel, maintenance employees, and makeup artists. IOTSI 504 is the local Anaheim branch of this group, and they work for venues such as the Verizon Wireless Amphitheater, the Seagerstrom Center of the Arts, the Anaheim Convention Center, and the Pacific Symphony Orchestra. This organization makes sure that all of the magic we see in our shows is set up and running well. It's thanks to them that we get an experience that goes above and beyond our expectations. Thanks, Sophia, for giving us more information on the workers behind the scenes. Also located in Anaheim, there is a music venue that punk rock and other music genres made by artists worldwide go to perform. More on this, Nico. Just off the I-5 and on the side of Lincoln Ave, there's a retro sign for Chain Reaction, a music venue in Anaheim that focuses on punk, rock, alternative, and ska music. The alcohol-free venue provides a safe environment for all ages to enjoy bands from around the world. Chain Reaction has been operating since 2005 and brings a unique experience to the Anaheim area. There's more information about the venue, the bands that play here, and tickets on their website, allages.com. For DP News, I'm Nico Mackey at STN. It's cool to see a venue like this offered to all ages and not just people 21 and over. And what a great way to get the new generation interested in this type of music. So now that you've seen some of the other things that the city of Anaheim has to offer, it's evident that there's much more to the city than that meets the eye. Or at least the media's eye. That's all we have for you today, STN. Have a super terrific, noteworthy day.